Hey guys, it's Louise here and welcome back to my channel. So today we have episode 5 of Mandalorian season 3. Uh, I have been so excited for this episode. It feels like it's been like a month since I watched it. I've been so busy over the past week that it just feels like it's been forever since I've had to watch an episode. Um, so yeah, I'm very, very, very much looking forward to this. Um, so yeah, let's let's get into it and see what chaos we ensue this time. Pirates. So negotiations. No, 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 no. Hondo when that'll set a bad precedent. I mean, I know it's probably the pirates from before, but I just like to hope that we're gonna get Hondo. Yeah, there he is. Space Davy Jones. I knew that Corsair looked familiar. Hail me again, unless it's to surrender. Oh, um, uh, Mando, help! Help! I'm gonna be honest. That ship is fucking cool. The ship is so cool. I love it. Yeah, that's terrifying. Ooh, fancy little intro. That goes hard. It's your boy. Captain Taylor, we have been attacked by Pirate King Gorian Shark. You once offered that I might reach out to you. Too bad. I really thought Navarro was going to make it. And for this to Coruscant, request permission to intercede. Garris Amorellius? Return to dispatch in weeks. You're swamped. You'll never get an answer. No! 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 What? Just have to go there and talk to them what? Can't ignore me face to face. Zeb? I love your attitude. Good luck. Oh, oh, oh. Need it. Oh, oh, oh. What the fuck? No, they did not just do that. Like that wasn't just any Lasat. That was Zeb. That was Steve Blum. I've just been rewatching Rebels as well. Oh. Does sound concerning. Excuse me, Colonel. I'm going down to the commissary. Can I get sus. Thank you. Sus, sus, sus. I'm sorry, officer. You spent some time in the outer rim, right? We can't leave them defenseless. Of course not. But we have a backlog of requests from member worlds that have priority. The I mean, priorities, bro. They're in trouble. Pirates. I don't think that this is an isolated episode. The citizens speak of Moff Gideon occupying the town, and now a pirate king is attempting the same thing. Oh. He got triggered by that. Because I'm hearing Moff Gideon never made it to trial. Captain, this isn't a rebellion. <laughs> she knows. We have a structure now. Perhaps the leaders of Navarro need to understand why becoming a Republic signatory is valuable. By letting them suffer. Sounds like a rather imperial way of thinking. Yeah. Captain, you're out of line. It's fine. It's very imperial. To that kind of talk. Damn, was he given this location or did he just manage to find it? So we're gonna recruit the Mandalorians for help because the Mandalorians are the best. Oh. I have a time pressing matter to attend to. How did you manage to find us? Mandalorians pride ourselves on our secrecy. Someone I served with in the rebellion is amongst your ranks. <laughs> Thanks, R5. <laughs> of course, it was R5. We'll now have to relocate, or we could kill him. Stay right here. Typical Vizsla. This man cut me a break once, and to help rescue Navarro before it's too late. God, Mando's vs. Pirates is gonna be so cool. I am in no position to ask. Oh, here we go. What's he gonna say? What's he gonna talk shit about? 
Oh, is this their speaking hammer? I was there on that night. I saw many die to save the life of this one tiny foundling. And now we are asked to sacrifice yet again. The question we should be asking ourselves is why? Because this is the way. I don't know. Because we are Mandalorians. I have had my disagreements with this man. <laughs> but he risked his life to save my son. He, he did do that, and yes. The Bo-Katan Kreese did not give up on my child's life. Even when the rest of us did. And I, for one, will take up arms to fight by their side. Damn, this is surprising. Not the way I was expecting this to go. This is the way. This is the way. This is the way. I'll use this to drop you in and you will operate as a tight military unit. God, she's so Discard cool. She can boss me around any day. Pirate King Gorian Shard, but now you can be heroes. Wow. Oh. You know, at this point, I hope Hondo isn't here because I don't want him to get taken out by fucking Mandalorians, honestly. Mm, these guys have no idea what's about to hit them, literally. Here they come! Careful, my friend. They've got you outnumbered ten to one. Well, just you wait and see how many Mandalorians we have, Green. I like those odds. <laughs> the course here's on me. Let's go, Bo. Approaching drop point. Oh, this is epic. This is gonna be so good. Surprise! <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! Oh! This is beautiful! Damn! Din really is impressive, isn't he? Nice of them to warn them. <laughs> Got ourselves a couple of Kelvins in the trees. I mean, Mandalorians are very impressive, but there is a, a, a concerning amount of pirates. Oh, ooh, baby! Yeah, I get the heavy in there. Let's go. Uh oh. Oh! Oh no! Oh! No! Heavy done! Heavy done! Oh! 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 Incredibly badass. Yeah, get fucked, boys. Damn, look at him on the ship. That was nice. Fuck. One snub by the left, Captain. We have to retreat. In a puffer big eye. <laughs> puffer pig he's a puffer pig damn this episode really has all the rebels references doesn't it goodbye space davy jones oh that's
That's crazy. From this day forward, I, Magistrate Grief Garga. Hi, Magistrate Sir. <laughs> Hi, Magistrate. Hereby cede all land from the Western Lava Flats to Bullock Canyon to the fine people of Mandalore. Yay! You may no longer have a home planet. But you do now have a home. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome and thank you. This is the way. The armorer wishes to speak with you. Well, this isn't intimidating at all. Where the frick are we going? Remove your helmet. What? Do you respect my station? I do. Remove your helmet. Why? What? Our people have strayed from the way. I was taught that the Mythosaur existed only in legends. And yet, you saw it. She believes her. It is a sign that the next age is upon us. You are the one who can unite us. Oh! <laughs> Shit! Oh my god! Oh! Helmet off! Okay, okay. Interesting. Okaton Kreeze is going off to bring other Mandalorians in exile to us. Sabine? So we may join together once again. Have you seen Zeb? But she shows her face. Okatan walks both worlds. Oh, she... bring all tribes. She's together. so pretty. Time to retake Mandalore. Ah! Queen, let's go! Oh, that was awesome! Well, we're not done. Oh, I thought that was us done. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh. R7, launch probe. What's going on here, huh? It's a new Republic prison transport. Prison transport. So this is where Moff Gideon escaped from? Damn. Flight times match the ship transporting Moff Gideon. I knew it. Yep. <laughs> you never made it to trial. Fuck. It's a fragment of Beskar alloy. Are you saying that Moff Gideon was taken by... Mandalorians? Excuse me, what? I'm sorry, what? Okay, I need to see the credits. I need to know that this was Zeb. It was Zeb! They've, they've credited him! I mean, I knew it was him because the voice was so obvious, but oh my god. Oh my god. Dude. Holy shit. <laughs> I need to go back and see him. Too bad. I really thought Navarro was going to make it. Look how good he looks. Is this our first live action Lasat? I feel like we haven't seen a Lasat in live action before. We have it in Rebels. We have Jaro Topal in uh, Fallen Order, but I don't think we've ever seen one in live action before. before this <laughs> Dude, they're putting so much Rebels into this show. We had the we had the space whales. 
we have, you know, obviously, I mean, Mandalorians aren't specifically rebels, but hopefully we're going to get Sabine. You know, we're going off to find more more rebels. We've got Bo-Katan. You know, we have fucking Zeb. They mentioned the, the puffer pigs. Dude, there's so many, like, so many references. And I'm just, like, going insane. Like, this is leading so heavily into Ahsoka. And just everything. Ah, Zeb, my boy! So, Callus, Zeb and Chopper are my three favorite characters in Rebels. Callus and Zeb specifically, I love them so freaking much. And I've just recently restarted watching Rebels, uh, or I just started re-watching Rebels recently. And I'm just like, <laughs> I'm in shock. I literally, literal shock. He is so there, ah! He's there, he's here, he's real. What the fuck? All right, so aside from that entire, like, the best part of the episode being Zeb, I'm sorry, but my, my Rebel's heart is very happy. That was a pretty great episode. That was very, very enjoyable. Um, I love seeing the Mandalorians fight. Um, I love seeing them take out the pirates. Um, and Vane obviously being like, see ya, I'm like, getting the fuck out of here. Goodbye, Space Davy Jones. Um, it was it was just full of action and it was a lot of fun and Bryce Dallas Howard fucking killed it again. She always kills it no matter what she does. It was wonderful. Um, yeah, I really really enjoyed it. Um, we are. I, I'm I'm assuming you know within the next week or so we're probably going to see Moff Gideon again. Now that we know that he has definitely officially escaped. I know that uh you know in I think it was episode two or three whenever it was there had they said that there had been rumors. Um, that Moff Gideon had escaped, but you know we we've just got our confirmation, um, and that is terrifying, but also exciting. I do love Moff Gideon, and I did really want to see him again. I didn't want that to be the last of it, but I'm curious about the Beskar that they found. Um, like why would there why would there be Beskar? That that has me very confused. Um, and now also we have Bo on a mission to go find more Mandalorians. She's allowed to take her helmet off, which is interesting. Uh, the the armorer seems to have a little bit of a soft spot for her because of how, I mean, how incredible she is. It's Bo-Katan, like, come on. Um, so she is going to be the one to unite the Mandalorians and will she be able to ride the Mythosaur? Potentially. Will she get the Darksaber? Maybe. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure Sabine still owns it technically because Sabine won it and then gave it away. So technically, if you think about it, Sabine still kind of owns it, but I don't know. I don't fucking, I don't know the lore and the, the way they work with it. So I don't know. But um, we're really getting deep into this shit now. And I'm really, really excited for next week. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think. Um, and I will see you guys in the next episode. So peace. Uh, may the force be with you.